Hello and welcome to the next installment in the Building a Smart Home Cheaply series. Today we're going to be diving into our first automation and it's going to be focused on the weather. I have a weather app on my iOS device and this weather app tells me when the weather changes and it tells me what the forecast for tomorrow's weather is going to be at a time that I specify. It also does cool things like tell me when the humidity is going to be above a certain percentage or when the temperature is going to be above a certain amount. Some weather apps will even charge you an amount just to have those features. But Home Assistant with its automations is actually capable of doing these things. So let's look into using Home Assistant as an alternative to the weather app I've had installed on my phone. This isn't a phone. My phone's actually what I'm using to record right now. I swear I know what a phone is. This automation is going to require you to have an iOS device or a device that can receive a push notification through the Home Assistant app. Therefore, it's also going to require that you have remote access to Home Assistant. If you don't know how to set up remote access for Home Assistant, click the card at the top and there will be a video instructing you on how to do that. Once you have your iOS device handy, we can get cracking on this. This automation is going to send us a notification whenever the weather changes. And you might say, okay, well, Grayson, I can just look out the window and see that it's sunny. I don't need a phone to tell me that the weather just changed. Well, did you ever consider the fact that maybe sometimes I'm laying in bed with my curtains closed and I don't want to bother looking out the window? You might you might be a little bit right, but for the sake of a first automation and just for the sake of testing out push notifications to our iOS devices, I think it's a good starting point. So to set it up, let's just go to the configuration button on the left in the sidebar and let's go to the automations tab. We're going to click the plus button in the bottom right and we're going to press skip on this little quick start wizard. For the name of this, we're going to say notify me when the weather changes. For the description, we're just going to say I want to get notifications on my device when the weather changes. Try to keep up. I'm a uh, fast typer. All right, scrolling down, we have the triggers section. The triggers will determine what is going to cause this automation to run. We're gonna trigger this based on when the weather changes. We'll get to that in just a second. For conditions, you can specify under what rules, under what circumstances should this automation run. So you could say, I only want this automation to run between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. because you don't wanna get weather notifications in the middle of the night. I'll show you how to do that as well in a second. In the actions section here at the bottom, the final section, this will determine what actually occurs when this automation executes. When it's triggered and all of the conditions are satisfied, perform these actions. So scrolling back up in our trigger section, we're gonna trigger based off of an entity's state. And again, an entity, if we go back to our developer tools in the left sidebar here, an entity here, in our case, is this whole left column of this. All these are entities, and one of which is the weather.home. The middle column here is a state and the state of the entity. So we can see the state of weather.home is partly cloudy. There's also this third column, which is called attributes. And under attributes, you're gonna find additional data related to the entity. That's data that is far more detailed than just the state. Right now, we just wanna get notified when the state of weather changes from say like partly cloudy to sunny or to rainy. So going back to our automation configuration, we're gonna choose the entity weather.home as we just saw listed there under developer tools. When you specify a from, you're specifying which state it's changing from. So we could say from partly cloudy to sunny. That way we would only get this automation to occur when the clouds go away and it's nice and sunny outside. The for field determines how long it must be in this new state before this automation runs. The format for the for field is hour, hour, minute, minute, second second so say we wanted to only trigger when it's gone from partly cloudy to sunny for one hour straight or like one hour and 15 minutes or one hour and 15 minutes and 22 seconds then run the automation personally i just want this to notify me when the weather changes under any circumstance so i'm actually going to clear out the from field i'm going to clear out the to field i'm going to clear out the for field and now this automation is going to run anytime the weather state changes. For conditions, if I wanted to, I could click on add condition here and I could say condition type time. And I could say I only want this to run between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock p.m. And the action section is now where we're going to work on sending that push notification to our device. So for the action type, you're going to scroll down to call service. 
And in the service dropdown, you're going to type notify dot, and you're going to choose your device in this list. So notify, in my case, dot mobile app iPad. For the service data, first thing you're going to want to write is the title. So this is the title of the notification. I'm going to say the weather has changed. And for the message, I'm going to say the weather is now blank. And I'm going to press save. It might take a second to save, so if it seems like you're pressing the save button and nothing's happening, just let it breathe for a second and it should save. After saving, you might notice that the message and the title have flipped in this little service data field right here. Home Assistant will reorganize the information that you've put in into a format that follows the latest standards. Scrolling up to the top, press the execute button in the card right here, where you've specified the name and the description. And this will actually force the automation to run regardless of the conditions that you've specified or the triggers. Basically, it's just gonna take the actions you've configured here and run them right off the bat. If you're not getting the notification and you have two different notify services, so for instance, notify.notify and notify.mobileappipad, just choose notify.notify and then save and then try pressing execute again. Here we can see I just got the notification on my iPad. It says the weather has changed, the weather is now blank. Obviously, this is not super helpful because, well, we don't actually know what the weather is. To get the state of the weather, you're going to scroll down and instead of writing blank, we're going to replace the word blank with something kind of wonky. We're going to use two sets of curly braces. And by that, I mean you're going to do two rightwards opening curly braces, followed by a space. And then we're going to do two leftward opening curly braces. We're telling Home Assistant that this isn't just plain text like the word blank. We're trying to pull data out from Home Assistant at this point. Now within this curly braces, we're going to write states and we're going to do an opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis. And inside of these parentheses, we're going to put quotation marks and we're going to say weather dot home and quotation mark. That was a lot of opening and closing things, but just look at my screen and make sure that it matches. We're telling Home Assistant to pull the state of weather dot home and include it into this message. Let's press save. And let's pull out our device one more time. Let's press execute. And wow, look at that. We just got our notification. It says the weather has changed. The weather is now partly cloudy. Now with our automation configured, whenever the weather state actually does change, we're gonna get a notification on our device. In my case, I'll only get notifications between 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. Right now it is very clearly still cloudy outside of my place. So I don't expect this automation to run probably within the next few hours at least but I can see that the notification did come through, so I know that it will work. In our next video, we're gonna set up a notification that tells us the forecast for tomorrow's weather at a time that we specify. If you're interested in seeing that or other automations, go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified of future content. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and I hope to see you in the next one.